Hello, welcome to Joan's Simple Paper Crafts. My name is Joan Heberlein and today is Wednesday, April 21st, and this is a YouTube premiere event. If you're new here, I'm so excited to meet you and I want to thank you for stopping by. If you're a returning guest, welcome back. Be sure to, just to subscribe by clicking the subscribe button below. That way you won't miss when I post a video, which is at least once a week, typically on a Wednesday. I want to thank, thank those of you who responded to my poll. There was an overwhelming response for the umbrella stamp set. So I'm going to show you how to make another card using the Under My Umbrella stamp set and Umbrella Builder Paper Punch. Both of those will be retiring soon. I think it's appropriate given it's April and you know my the rhyme, April showers bring May flowers. I'm using the soon to be retiring Playing With Patterns Designer Series paper for the background paper. We have a new catalog coming out May 4th. In order to make room for the new items in the catalog, we're holding the last chance product sale and that's going on right now. There are some great sales on many of the items that are retiring. If you want to purchase, purchase early because it's a save while supplies last. Once the item is sold out, it's gone and I hate to see you disappointed. You can check the link in the comments sections for the retired items. Make sure you hang on until the end so I can show you other projects I made using the same stamp set. Okay, for this project you're going to need a piece of Whisper White or Basic White cut at five and a half by eight and a half and with a score line at four and a quarter. And I've already got that scored to kind of save us some time. Then the next piece we're going to need is the Clips of Coral cardstock and that is cut at five and a quarter by four inches. And then the next piece we're going to need is our Playing With Patterns designer series paper. And we're going to use this piece and we're going to cut it at um, three and three quarters by five inches. I just want to stop and show you the rest of the designer series paper. We've got this packet and this is about half the packet um, and it's double sided but I want to just I've I have it so that I only need to show you the one side. I've got all the papers here. So that it's, we've got that piece there. And then we've got this one. This one. Very nice patterns. And this is going to be retiring come May 3rd, so if you'd like it, you can go to my website and place an order. It's 6 by 6 inches, and I believe there's 48 sheets. I know it's a lot of paper. And then one more, this one, which we're going to use as well. So then we're also going to need uh, basic cardstock um, in the basic white. And it's cut at three and a half by three and a half. And then we're going to use it to cut out our oval die and our umbrella. So here's our die, and I took it from our layering oval dies. This is also going to retire, so you'll want to get out, go out and order that right away as well, because things are going quick. Um, so we've got 
the oval dies and the scallop dies. And then we're also going to need another piece of calypso coral and that is two and a half by three and a half. And that's cut, we already cut that out. Um, and then we are going to need a piece of black cardstock, one inch by two inch to cut out our our um, umbrella handle. And then we have our under my under my umbrella stamp set, and that's going to be retiring, as well as the under umbrella builder paper punch that'll be retiring May 3rd as well and then our laying oval dies which I already mentioned those are going to be retiring May 3rd we'll also need our memento ink then the the, pan, the markers we're going to use is our light Bermuda Bay our dark calypso coral and our dark mango melody that one's going to be retiring may 3rd as well then we're going to need some clear blocks and i've got them all set up for when we need to do our stamping um, and i believe it's block b and c so this is a b this is h and this one is C. Then we'll need um, Stampin' Din Dimensionals. We'll need an envelope to go along with this and we'll probably need some, some glue. Um, and that's about it. So let's get started. Let me just move this out of the way. So we're going to take our, our um, our um, designer series paper. We're going to start with this first because it's going to take long for the it to dry for what I want to do. So I'm going to just stamp it up. I'm going to need two sets of boots or wellies. If you want to call them wellies. Um, I kind of like the name Welly. That's short for Wellingtons. Those are rubber boots that are made for like walking in the rain. And then I'm going to stamp off on this paper. Is our Stampin' Scrub and we use Stampin' Mist with it and I've already sprayed it so we, I didn't need to spray it again for today and I'll just set up that over there um, and I'm going to cover this up for right now and what I want to do here is I want to cut them out first and I am going to use um, my scissors to cut them out. And I'm going to call it fussy cutting. So what you want to do is you want to just move the paper and cut it. Typically you'd want to leave like some paper edge around the around the, the stamp but for this one because I'm using it on designer series paper I like the look of it being close up to the very edge and 
and I'm going to cut off the other foot. And I'm going to try and round the edge there. And then I am actually going to go up where the heel is and cut it out so you can actually see it. You'll see the white behind it rather than the dark. And then here's the trick that I want to do. I want to make these shiny and so I've got this glossy accents and I'm going to use this to go over the boot. You could also use um, this felt tip glue pen that works the same way, makes it nice and glossy, but I like the, the way this treatment works a little bit better for me. Um, this one I get bubbles in it. And I don't know why I'm getting bubbles, so I'm, I don't want to try and use that today. So what I do is I'm going to just cover the entire boot, more or less, with um, this accent. And I'm trying to stay between the black lines. And when this is dry, it's going to be all nice and glossy. I think I'm going to need this. I might need this to hold it. Okay, I don't know if you can see how glossy that is. And that's pretty much how it's going to dry even. So, and it's going to take a while for it to dry, so I'm going to set that aside. And then, um, it doesn't have to stop because I planned ahead. and got our two boots right here. See how glossy that is? So I'm just going to go ahead and start with the card base. We're going to fold that in half on the score line. That's our card base. Then next we're going to take our designer series paper. And we'll put glue on that, and I'm going to use liquid glue. And the liquid glue is our multi-purpose glue that I have just put in this bottle with a fine tip so that it, it does a finer stream of glue. I'm 
I'm a little bit slow at the gluing portion, so if I'm going to use liquid glue, I needed a finer tip. And it allows me to um, use it during our videos without allowing it to take long to on time to dry. The less glue I have, the quicker it's going to dry. And, um, and I'm using this bone folder just to flatten the glue out from underneath the paper. That'll help it dry too. So if I hadn't put it on there straight, it'll, it'll give me enough time to call it wiggle room. So I can straighten it and keep going from there. And next I'm going to put glue on the calypso coral piece. And that's the same thing that, you know, I want to have a little more wiggle room than usual. So I'm using the fine tip. And I'm just trying to leave an eighth of an inch around all edges. Did the same thing when I put the designer series paper on the clips of coral, leaving the eighth of an inch room around the edges. So the next piece we're going to need is our oval, and we're going to want to get that stamped. And we're going to use, I'm just going to lay that there for right now. I'm going to lay this up here somewhere. Okay, I think that, that was going to be about right. Um, so I just needed to figure out where I had room for the, the sentiment. And what I'm using is the one that says, Rain or Shine, you're always on my mind. Make sure I've got that level there. And I'm going to stamp off again onto the paper. Just using the stamp and scrub. So now that we have that done, we'll glue it to this oval, scalloped oval. And then we'll put our boots right about there. Then we need to color our umbrella. And 
we want it to be um, the light Bermuda Bay. And what you want to do is you want to bring it just up to the, the line. I don't actually touch it because um, it will spread and it'll spread to the line. So you don't have to get it right onto the line. And then we'll do the, the yellow one in the middle and the orangish one on the far right. But I've already got that done to save us some time. So then we need our umbrella handle. And that it'll glue right about there. And I'm making sure that I'm lining it up under this here because that, that's like where it would go continuous on the other side. Let me flip it over so you can see that. And then we're going to want to put this on with um, a little bit of glue and then dimensionals behind the umbrella portion because we'll put the oval on with dimensions. So let me get my dimensions out. Starting to run low. And I am going to go all the way down here to give that a little more support on the boot. And I put a lot of dimensions on. No, don't want them to, want them to want my cards to come out wonky when it goes through the US mail. So make sure that I get those done right. I'm going to actually put another one on that boot. Give this a chance of it breaking off then. And just take my pick tool and pull these back things off. It's that one. Trying to line that in the middle. And then, so what we want to do is have this just hit the edge of the, the oval. So we'll need a dimensional, at least up at the tip. So I think I'll try and put three in there. Um, and then we'll put a little bit of glue right around here and down in the handle. Pull the back off of one of these so I can find it. There we go. So 
So we'll kind of put that up here. And then we have a second pair of, of wellies to put inside. And we'll leave the inside um, blank other than having the wellies in there. So that um, you have lots of room to write your message. There, I'm done with that card. So now I think I've got that done. Um, I think what we have left to do is the envelope. So I'm going to bring out our envelope and um, bring out our silicone mat. I think I was a little premature in getting rid of the silicone mat. And I'm going to add glue to the end of the end envelope. I'm basically lining this edge up with the top of the, the fold of the envelope. And then I'm going to use my bone folder just to get the glue all flat in there. And then I will take my other scissors and trim off this excess here. I'll just go up around the corner. And then we'll trim this down. And then I want to just show you the other cards that I made. So this one says, Hello, Sunshine. And then when you open it up inside, there's just some flowers in there. And then I also did the same thing on the envelope. Got the same flowers there. And then this is the card that we just made together. And inside we have our boots and the envelope has the the slip has some of the card on it and then this was the one that I like the best I don't know if you can see the raindrops are from that raised glue and it actually looks like water droplets on the envelope. And the wellies have um, the glue on them too to make them glossy. And they're just the, the boots on the inside as well. And then we did the envelope flap again for the, cut, the envelope. I hope you like these projects as much as I do. As you can see, it would work great with just about any stamp sentiment set. I'll hope you give it a try. Leave a comment below to let me know what sentiments you'll be using. I'd love to know what you used. Now, if you enjoyed today's project, would you do me two favors? 
click the thumbs up emoji, which means you like it. And would you share it on social media with your crafting friends and pin it to Pinterest? These actions will help me to keep sharing my ideas with other crafters for free, and I would really appreciate that. Be sure to hit the subscribe button below so you won't miss any future videos. If you have questions, be sure to reach out to me. I'm here to help any way that I can. If you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I'd love to be your demonstrator. Just reach out to me. If you'd like to place a Stampin' Up! order or would you like a catalog, hop over to my website where you'll find the Shop Now button. To shop with me, you'll need to go to Joan Heberline dot stampin up dot net before i go i want to remind you of the promotions going on right now the la remember there's a last chance product sale and it's a supply save why supplies last so if you want to shop early because things are going rather quickly the paper pumpkin kit this month is batter up the sale is running from April 10th to May 10th. Send a 7th inning stretch in a classic card, paper in all-star stripes, a nostalgic nod, and a stamp set fit for an MVP. There's no better way to root, root, root for your home team. There's enough supplies for 9 cards and coordinating envelopes. Paper Cump Pumpkin also has a subscribe-a-thon going on right now. It actually starts May 7th, and a new subscriber can steal the Batter Up Paper Pumpkin Kit at an unbattable deal, $5. It has a limited supply of Batter Up Kits to offer at this special subscribe-a-thon rate. It starts May 7th at midnight, and the promotional price is $5. The sale will continue till all kits are sold out. Once May 7th hits, new subscribers should enter the code HOMERUN0521 before the sale ends to receive this special introductory price. Mark your calendars. I'll be back live Wednesday, April 28th at 7 p.m. Central Time for something from the new catalog coming out May 4th. I hope you'll be here to join me. Thanks so much for being here with me tonight. I look forward to next week. Bye for now. Hey, and don't forget to subscribe.